like to show you something with uh, soap bubbles. How many of you have played with soap bubbles? A lot of people. Okay. You know there are certain solutions that you can buy in the toy stores that uh, you can make soap bubbles with. And you may have seen a little pipe that you can uh, put in your mouth and blow bubbles with. I'm not going to do that for you. But rather, what I am going to do is to connect something up here uh, which will blow bubbles. Um, and so I'm going to pour a little bit of this solution, which is uh, just like the stuff you buy in the toy store to blow bubbles, into what amounts to a pipe here. And rather than blowing on it with my mouth, I'm going to turn on the gas here and let it make bubbles. Now this may take a minute before we get good bubbles going. I probably filled it a little too full. Now I want to make some nice bubbles here because I want to do something rather unusual with a candle. Now have you ever seen a bubble that would do that? First of all, why are those bubbles rising like that? Well, they're rising because they're not air bubbles, but they're bubbles of natural gas. This is connected to the same natural gas that was running the Bunsen burner, the same gas that you would have in your homes, perhaps. And so with uh, bubbles produced with natural gas, um, first of all, they're lighter than air, so they rise. And secondly, you can ignite them. And it's very pretty. One more. Now, while we're talking about things that 